trip dollars in Scythia. However, not everybody had yet learned how to cultivate the earth. In distant parts of the world, men still lived with animals like savage, just as in the old days. This was how people lived in Scythia, which was uh, ruled by King Lingus. The meteor decided to send a hero there, a man who scorned all dangers in his efforts to teach men the agriculture, which would bring them civilization. The man best fitted the task she felt was Triptolemus, the eldest son of King Seleus. Demeter gave her hero a winged chariot and two dragons to shield him from evil powers, and he set out for distant Scythia. His strongest protection, however, was his own brave heart. This fierce hero faced many terrible dangers, but he overcame them all with his word and finally taught the Scythians how to cultivate the souls. The soil. Thus peace slowly came to their people and their land. King Lungus, however, was far from satisfied. He was jealous of Triptolemus and made up his mind to kill him and then spread the word that it was he, Lungus, who had brought the art of agriculture to the people. <laughs> but how was he to rid himself of Triptolemus? who killed everybody sent to murder him. Finally, he decided to do the deed himself. Since he did not want to meet the same fate as the others, he decided to commit a crime while Triptolemus was sleeping. And yet, how could he do so when the hero was guarded in his sleep by the winged dragon Demeter gave him? In the end, he hit upon a devilish plan. He invited Triptolemus to his palace and served him a splendid feast accompanied by choice wines. He thanked him for the great services he had performed for Scythia and the lamb led him to one of the chambers of the palace to sleep. Late that night, Triptolemus was lumbering deeply and Lingus crept into his room clutching a sharp pointed dagger. Ha! The plan is working, said Lingus to himself. But at the very moment when he was raising the dagger, he felt his wrist caught in a vice like grip. The knife fell to the ground. The terrified Lungus turned his head and found himself face to face with the goddess Demeter. Lungus, you have sealed your own fate, the goddess hissed. As swine you are and as swine you shall remain forever. And immediately the king was transformed into the wild boar which fled panic striking to the forest, while Triptolemus left Scythia unharmed to bring the major's gift of agriculture to the other backward peoples of the world. From the moon, war betide anyone who dared to lay a finger on a goddess fearless favorite. <laughs>